With Halloween almost upon us, imagine a world where the landscape of nightmares is now one of the world's top tourist destinations. The lonely moors and fog-swept dales of Yorkshire in the north of England have long been a source of gloomy inspiration. Bram Stoker was drawn to the ruins of Whitby Abbey and made it the setting for his horror classic Dracula. And Sherlock Holmes famously roamed those same moors in pursuit of the dreaded Hound of the Baskervilles. Not to mention Heathcliff and Jane Eyre, who wandered through the imagination of the Bronte sisters. But Yorkshire is more than gloom. It's more even than a puffy pudding that goes with roast beef at Sunday lunch. It's more than the name of a cute little terrier that you can fit in a purse. The popular travel guide Lonely Planet has just named Yorkshire the third best region in the world. And while it trails a valley in the Himalayas and a remote coastal spot in Australia, it's a proud day for what the locals call God's own country. In fact, Yorkshire has been on a roll late, lately. Its athletes won 12 medals for Britain at the 2012 London Olympics, and that would have been good enough for 12th place if Yorkshire were an independent nation. And Yorkshire is a riot of colour as well. Britain's most famous living artist, Yorkshire's own David Hockney, is being celebrated with a new exhibition in San Francisco, featuring 150 blazing images sketched on his iPad. And last but not least, there's the hit TV show Downton Abbey set upstairs and downstairs on a Yorkshire estate. If the proof is in the pudding, then Yorkshire is the place to be.